Hello Futurists and welcome to another Futura episode. I'm sure you've heard about the rear bearing saga. They often fail, they cost a fortune and they're literally impossible to get. With one DIY project that includes a fairly simple hack, all these troubles can be overcome for one tenth of a price. Instead of trying to be incredibly lucky to find an original spare parts, just buy two pieces of DG4070D bearings and use these. No need to make an adapter or a sleeve, these two will fit right in. Believe me, I ride them for the last 10,000 kilometers. The speedometer won't work as these bearings don't have a magnetic ring that would cause the sensor to generate impulses. Remove the sensor and close the hole with a plug. I did myself a 3D printed version. Instead of counting magnets on the bearings magnetic ring, we could count sprocket bolts, just like a Caponor does. In order to do that, first we need some magnets. I bought few pieces off eBay, 5mm in diameter and 3mm in thickness. Then I removed three bolts, drilled a little 5mm hole in the head of each of them to make a seat for a magnet and glued magnets with an epoxy glue. Then I put bolts where they belong and did the same with remaining three bolts. Then I fabricated a little holder for a speed sensor and bolted it, so magnets fly past it just a few millimeters away. Magnets are a little above the sensor so you can sense the change in magnet field polarity. Here's the first test, it works well, but numbers are incorrect. Then I removed the instrument cluster. To do that you need to remove this bolt, this one, this right here, and after you remove the plastic part there's another pair right here. It's an Italian bike, you'll need a whole bunch of different tools, as every bolt is different. Unplug the two connectors and it's off. The instrument cluster is held together with tabs. These are large ones and there are three smaller ones on the bottom. To disassemble it, first pry open large ones and save smaller ones for the end. Be careful not to damage the seal. If it gets damaged, there will be a bigger chance for water ingress. Take a photo of a front panel. You will need it later to get dials back to their correct position. To remove them, simply pull them out. Keep them in a safe place. To disassemble it further, pull out the inner part and unhook the PCB by prying these tabs. This is our PCB. Here is the part that is prone to fail. It's a power supply for 5V brain. This capacitor often fails. And this one, and this one too. Also, this wire at the back tends to break off over time and needs to be resoldered. This one has already been repaired. That's why I often use a glue gun to fit components properly. These are background illumination diodes. You can replace them with different color if you like. Just don't use ultra bright ones and make sure the polarity is correct. And this is our EEPROM. It stores data about mileage, trip, settings and so on. Here's my test clip I bought for cheap from AliExpress. The EE prone type is 24U02, which is an equivalent to 24C02. And this is my TL866 Plus programmer that I use for my projects. This is also bought from AliExpress for silly money compared to local prices. 
Using a programmer and test clip I connected the EEPROM directly to computer and read the EEPROM content. I will not talk about changing mileage as this is literally too easy to do and is forbidden by law. In the program I search for register address 3A. It needs to contain data 20. It doesn't contain 20 in my case because I have already had a few funny projects with my bike. So insert data 06 on that address and write down the modified content into the EEPROM. That's as simple as it gets. Verify the chip content. Everything is ok. That's all. I can also save the EEPROM content for backup. Once again to make it clear, connect the chip and in the program choose 24CO2. Uh, read the chip, find the address 3A, it should say 20. And change 20 to 06. 20 in hex means 32 in decimal, as the magnet ring has 32 magnets. And then we change to 06 because 06 in hex means 6 in decimal. And now we have 6 magnets. Write to chip, verify the content and that's it. Be sure for the dials to be in correct position. Start a little higher and press the down to their place. Use both hands. Check after you've done and repeat if necessary. Clean interior if needed and make sure the seal sits nicely in place. Feed it back to the bike and test it.
I did two tests, first speed and second an odometer. If you take out one bolt, the speedo will still work well as the base frequency from the speed sensor remains the same, but odometer literally counts pulses so it will not work accurately. I tested speed with an Android application GPS speedometer and it proved to be fairly accurate. Then I reset the mileage in the app and the trip computer of a bike and did a short ride. GPS app measured 4.72 km and the bike trip meter showed 4.7. That will be accurate enough. I hope I saved some cash to someone. We don't depend on rocking horse sheet anymore. See you guys.